Hey, welcome. I am Dr. Mokonle, and today in this video, I'll be telling you the four errors you must avoid as you register for your JAMBA exam this year. As you are well aware, JAMBA started registration for this year JAMBA, the 2023 JAMBA exams. And make sure you stick to the end of the video because there will be two bonuses I'll be giving out during the course of this video. Let's get started. Before we get into any of the errors, let's just set the record straight. Let's be on the same page. JAM recently just announced that registration will start on January 14, 2023 up to February 14, yeah, Valentine's Day 2023. That's exactly one month for the JAM exam registration. And the exam itself, which will be computer-based, will be for, starts from April 29th till May 12th, 2022. So you guessed as much, we have exactly less than four months to these exams. That's, according to my calculations, about 114 days to these exams. As you are aware, the exam will be computer-based and there will be a mock on the 16th of March, 2023 for those that are interested and they will need to pay just 1000 for the mock exam. Alright, good. So since we're on the same page now, let me now tell you the four errors that you must avoid as you get to register for this year's exam. Number one, wrong information source. See, this is like the most important thing you can listen to in this video. Where do you get your information from? And I cannot overemphasize this over and over again. And everything we are saying today will be connected to this. As you go ahead in your registration and even in your life, where do you get your information from? Because as you know, information is power and getting the right information can make the entire difference. You know, there's a lot of wrong information on the internet. People just sit in their rooms and type things and, you know, um, say things they're not even sure of or that they don't even know. So my advice is that you only get information from the correct sources like Jab websites or very trusted news channels like you know and they have brands and names. And you can also click subscribe here to this channel because I'll be giving you videos like this every single day with trusted information that will help you to be the best you can be in these Jab exams. And apart from even the online people, even people physically close to you, like sometimes your parents, your church members, your mocks members, your friends, they can give me information that is not so correct. So um, I, had, I had my own personal experience when I was coming in, when I was writing my first jam, and then someone told me that oh, I should apply for biochemistry, and then when I get into the school, I can cross over. And then I did that, I got into the course for biochemistry, I got into the school, I wanted to cross over to medicine. You guess as much. It's not allowed in the school. And that was the information I got before entering. So getting the right information is very, very, very critical. And that's the number one thing you need to know. The second thing that you need to avoid as an error as you go into the registration time is having JAMP subject combination deficiency. You know you're going to write four subjects in JAMP. One is compulsory, use of English. The remaining three are going to be chosen based on the course and the school you are going for. So no matter how much you read and you pass and you do a lot and you do very well, if your subject combination is deficient then it's like you're starting from zero level, you're not going to gain admission to that course. So how do you know what um, subjects to combine? And let me, this is the first bonus I'm giving out. You know I promised the two bonuses at the beginning of this video. The first bonus is that you need to check with your school. You know, um, there was someone I know last year that while filling for jam, she used jam book here. And you can't even believe that even the jam book here was wrong. You need to check with your school, the admission requirements. You can do a simple check, just type online, admission requirements, university of your school, and you know, you will see the list of courses and all the admission requirements, including the combination of, of subjects for your jam exam. By this way, you'll make no error and you'll be on the right track. If you're enjoying this video, please click like and subscribe because it will help the channel grow and it will enable you to see my videos every time I post them. I'll be posting once a day up till your exam. So make sure you click subscribe and join the family here at Alpha Tutors. The number three thing is connected to like the first two we have said. Having wrong O-level combination. So O-level is like WIAC, NECO, GCE. And when you don't have the correct subject combination or you don't have the result needed to enter that course that you're applying for, then again, you are going to not do well in this jam. So how do you know that it's connected to the second point? Check the admission requirements in your school. And sometimes there's one sitting, it is two sittings. You need to know and be very sure of what the admission requirements are so that you can be um, well above, you know, so that you will not make this error and you'll be doing well in your exams. The fourth thing I want to mention is duplication of application. I don't know what causes this, maybe anxiety, maybe stress, maybe worry. Some people do multiple registrations or multiple applications. And when you do this, the board will just cancel all your applications and then you'll not be able to write your exam. So make sure you register only once, get your exam slips and registration slips ready and just start preparing for your exam. 
year the 15 is some people make the mistake of not registering for the mock exam you know the mock exam is a very very good option for you guys because you get to feel how the exam is going to be before that day okay some of you are not covered so like writing exams on the computer you are jittery that day but when you have come for that mock exams you seem calm and everything seems to go well on the main exam day because you're already used to it and you already like know what um, Apple's doing this exam and it's just for 1k and you would be able to write this exam so make sure you register for the mock exam yeah if you waited up to this point I have the second bonus for you your second bonus is we have Alpha Tutors is a tutorial for science and medical students especially people down to apply for medicine nursing and other medical courses and other science courses too we are giving admission only to 1,000 students. So if you want to be a part, check the description. You see a link, click it, and um, come join the tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. Click like and subscribe, and you can watch this other video here. I'll see you next time. Bye.